All right, this video is to help you with classical waltz. I'm on page 43 of the FJH lesson book, and we're continuing with our 3-4 time signature, the thing that looks like a fraction. It just means three beats in a measure. Even when there's a half note and a quarter note, only two notes can add up to three beats because a half note is two, a quarter note is one, and two plus one is, you got it. Okay, so the classical waltz has a dotted half note in it. I don't believe we've seen one of these yet. This is the first song. It's a three beat note. So when you see a dotted half note in classical waltz, it's going to take up the whole measure, the entire measure. You're gonna see one note in a measure but it takes up the whole measure because it's worth three beats. And you can only put three beats in a measure when you're in three, four time signature. So let's think about our hands. Set up P, I, and M on strings three, two, and one like we always do. With your left hand, make sure you're pressing the string down with the tips of your fingers. The thumb in the back is like this, pointing up towards the sky. And let's hear this beautiful melody. One, two, three. Classical Waltz um, is actually, I think its real name is Andante, and it was written by Mauro Giuliani, an Italian um, composer who lived back in the 17 and 1800s. Um, I think this is one of the few songs in the book that was actually written by a, a classical guitar player. Yeah, you can look him up. Check him out on YouTube. Well, I mean, his people that have played his songs. He's, he's been dead for a long time. Mauro Giuliani. Okay, so it might be time to go and practice your notes because you can come back and, and the rest of this video is just playing along with the teacher notes, which I'm going to play now. If you're feeling like you're ready, you can play along with me now and make a duet. Here it goes. One, two, three. And you'll notice my notes sound really fast, especially at the end. That's because I'm playing eighth notes. They're, for every quarter note, you have to play two eighth notes. So you just keep the steady beat. You don't have to speed up there. You just keep on trucking. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. You, you just keep your, your steady beat. And don't worry about how fast my notes are. If you keep your beat, we'll still end up uh, at the same place in the end. So, have fun, practice hard. Thank you.